So I am uh, here in Dallas. I just left a doctor's appointment. I just had a doctor's appointment and was uh, coming outside to just uh, to just get my car. And I saw this beautiful young lady, beautiful young lady that uh, that that got my attention. And she said a story with me. And her dad. Uh, <laughs> Almost ran me over. No, I'm, I'm playing here. <laughs> Her dad pulled me over and said, "Kirk, I want people to know my daughter's story, and, and I'm and I'm only doing this because she says she wants people to know her story." Um, I have a daughter her age, so it 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 really has affected me, and I just want her to say hi to you, and just for you to hear the courage in this young lady's voice. Hi. So. What's your name? My name is Courtney Fields. Um, Do you have sweetheart voices? <laughs> I'm 24 years old and I'm from the area. Uh, recently had an above the knee um, leg amputation due to a lot of, well, due to a complication and I had a blood clot in my lungs. And in order to save my life, they had to take my leg. I was in the hospital for 30, 50 total days um, and in the beginning of this situation I coded three times three different times I coded they brought the priest down to come and pray with my family they thought I was done they thought I was about to die because they brought the priest down to come pray with my family but here I am today running into Kirk Franklin. So if that's not a testimony, then I don't know what it is. Um, this has not been an easy journey and my journey is not over, but I am, I trust in the Lord and I know that he'll be able to do and bring me through this. Um, I'm only 24 and once I'm daughter. going through, with me going through this, I, I have a lot more respect for amputees and what they go through because this pain is it's it's terrible but with the faith that i have in the lord i know that he will bring me through this and i don't know what he has planned for me um and i i don't ever question it but i do wonder what he will what he has in store for me um well uh, i tell you what one thing i do know she's got a friend She's got a friend now. My daughter, my youngest daughter is 24. My oldest daughter's an AKA. Mm -hmm. She's an AKA, she's 24. And I'm gonna give her all of my information and and anything that I can help with your dreams. Anything I can help with her dreams, I'm gonna help with her dreams. Because it's not a mistake. Mm -hmm. No man, this is not a mistake. And look at her incredible dad. <laughs> Left alone. So, it's an honor meeting you. It's Thank an you. honor meeting you. Okay, tell everybody bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys. And this won't be the last time you see this young lady. Okay, so, so here, let me get your phone. So I can put my number in your phone. And I, I hesitated to. Cause I rolled out. No, don't. And I look. looked at him. Uh -uh. It's not an accident or incident. It's a divine. I point. think that's Kirk Franklin. <laughs> that's my number. Thank you. That's my number. It is an honor meeting you. Thank you. It is an honor, and I've had my shot, so. I'm <laughs> Look, I've had my first time. Give <laughs> <and> my second. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank you, man. No, man, it's an honor meeting you. Thank you for running me over. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you pull up on me. Pull up on me. You know, I didn't think you were gonna let him down, but. Oh no, man. God, man! It's an honor meeting you. 